and they've got Tassin's agents. Best lie low. Give us the relic! We know it's here! I... I don't know what you mean. Then I'll show you. No. That's not how we conduct business. I find that pain is no substitute for money. So let's negotiate. The relics, not for sale. <laughs> See, progress. You do have it. Now name your price and we all walk away with something. Relics are dangerous. Only if you're careless. Do I look careless? Marisol! We found the relic! A pity for you. Negotiations have concluded. You bastard! This is awkward. A freelancer. How oh, useless. I fought your kind before, and I put them in the ground. You'll be joining them. A few hours before Anthem's open demo was over, I decided to venture from one corner to the next, to the edge before it teleports me back to the safe zone. I charted every inch of the demo zones and looked for one thing in particular, lore information. As someone who was quite invested in the lore of Anthem and other Bioware games, I wanted to know if I will be left to guess the history or stories of this world. I was concerned if I would need a wiki to learn anything about this game, to learn how to play the game, or even understand the lore. I wanted to know if there is enough to do in Anthem. This is a question most of us ask ourselves when we heard about the rumors that Anthem won't have a lot of story. So I went around and gathered enough to see if we can get a visual representation for the amount of lore you will see at launch. After a few hours, I gathered about three hours worth of lore in the demo, and this is done by visiting places and picking up notes or defeating certain enemies or unlocking certain events. These are the ways that you can get this lore entries. And if these things were put into cinematics, interactives, or gameplays, it should take players more than three hours, in some cases, maybe even 10 hours to complete. This is important because it gives an estimate of the scale of the full game. And after this, it lets players know that there is enough information to build up on when it comes to the full game. There are different chapters or individual stories to embark on even after the critical path. How many people knew that Helena Tarsus, the hero of Dawn, was actually married? The way she had been portrayed in front of a lot of people and what critics have said, we all thought she was a loner, that she didn't have a man or wasn't into dating at all. Who knew that Fort Tarsus is actually dealing with overpopulation and that the governor had some things prepared about spreading out the population and taking them to different regions and zones, but couldn't go forward with it because of several reasons. Did you know that there are royal families in Bastion? in this world of Anthem. These are some of the lore entries that I had a chance to collect, and if you just like reading, you can load up the game, enter into your library. For research, you can even connect the stories. And these are the elements that are very important to any game that values storytelling or lore. After the lead writer for Bioware left a while back, I was worried, and amidst of the whole Bioware is a shell of its old self conversation, I have to say I was concerned about the game. But now I can say that if I can get 3 hours worth of lore from a demo, then the full game will have a lot to offer. Now, I will admit, I am a fan of Bioware, and sometimes I've been hypocritical about them, and that in most cases I will mostly defend them. But I will not go as far as defend them blindly, not to the point where I am lying to myself or to my audience. There have been a lot of concerns that the full game is sectioned off into DLCs and that is going to be a bad thing. So I started looking into this. 
I have a lot of colleagues who have actually been able to play the full game at a steady pace and they said it took them about 25 to 30 hours depending on the pace. Some people said around 50 hours. I also asked if it was a main game since the side missions in Anthem does have cutscenes and some people might mistake those parts for the critical path. Well, these hours are more than some full price games if you ask me. Mass Effect 2 was around 50 hours and Andromeda was around 30 hours if you were all playing these games at a steady pace. Andromeda is around 20 if you go a little bit faster. Combining this with other stories and the DLC starting in March will give Anthem players a solid 100 hours or more by the time the half of 2019 is over, depending on your pace, I believe. The concern about these things being sectioned off into DLCs should also be put to rest since you will not have to pay for the stories. There will be daily missions, weekly missions, monthly missions, a whole lot of other things to do that adds to the core elements of Anthem, which makes it not just another Mass Effect game or another Dragon Age game because there is more to do and more to build upon even after you complete the main story in some of the major side missions. Now, if you had to pay for the DLCs, then you know that the game is being sectioned off to make you pay more for the expansion, which is what a lot of people and a lot of companies do these days. But in this case, it's not that way. The DLCs in Anthem, as the developers have doubled down and spoken about this several times, the DLCs will be free. This is important to know because it also helps us understand if the game is worth your money or the dedication on day one. Now I see the outrage against the game daily and people hoping that it fails. So I feel bad sometimes for the developers who are working at the studio, but at the end of the day, it's their job. But anyways, expect more lore from me as usual. It's DSI now. I'll see you in the next one.